It's another lady of the house kind of day and today we are spring cleaning the living spaces. Welcome back ladies in this final day of my spring cleaning series. If you missed any of my videos this week, I hope you will go to my channel and then check out the video section. All of my videos are listed there in the order in which I've released them. I just know that sometimes YouTube does not recommend to you if you are subscribed and if you want my videos to come into your feed. It doesn't always do that. So from time to time, I just hear that people do end up missing the videos that I release. But know that I have released a video now every day of the weekday this week. So Monday through Friday now, and I hope that you enjoy all of them. Okay, let's talk about what I am going to be spring cleaning here in the dining room. The dining room is one of the living spaces or what I would consider to be in the living spaces category and I am going to be moving the dining room table to sweep under it. I know it's not that big of a deal but it is a big deal because I don't get to it every single week so it needs to be done sometime and what better time than when I'm spring cleaning? Because I have other things that I need to do today as well, which is to take down the curtains in the sitting room right over there and then also in our family room. We have a little dog, Mr. Peppercorn, who loves to lift his legs on all of the curtains, on the legs of any furniture. He's just very busy all the time making plenty for me to clean up. So um, I'm going to do that today. I've recently done the ones here in the dining room, so I'm not going to need to do those. But those are the things that I'm going to do. I think that the best thing to do would be to take the curtains down first. And then by the time I'm done cleaning up this floor area, those should be done washing and then I can hang them back up to dry. And after that, we will talk about the project that I have for these spaces.
Since I have seven minutes left before the curtains are done, I am going to get up here really quick and wipe down the top of the hutch. Well, that always feels so good to get done. I always feel so relieved once I wash my curtains because it's just one of those things that I notice all the time. And some would say, why even have them if he's just going to do that? Because I love them, just like I love my dog. Why have him when he does all of that? I love him, so we keep them. We keep what we love and sometimes it's worth the effort. To me, it's worth the effort because shears especially just soften the light and I just feel a window is not complete without shears over it. So I love my, my white shears and also the little pattern that's on there. Um, it's different from this room into that room over there. I think it is. Yes, it is different. Um, but I still like to have some kind of pattern on them. I just think it makes it a little bit more interesting. But um, if there is something that you are going to be cleaning in your living spaces, please let me know that in the comments below. What spring cleaning item do you have on your list? Have you done it already? 
please let me know that in the comments below. Okay, let's get into the project that I have planned today. I'm sure you could guess because I have been doing little painting projects all week that I am going to be doing some kind of touch up, which I am. I think it's a great time to get out my ultra white paint and to touch up the baseboards touch up the casings on some of the doors as well as some of the doors because all of these areas take a beating and they just need to be done from time to time. This not only is very relaxing for me, but once it's complete, I feel that it makes such a big impact because if you have those little nicks or you know scuffs or anything like that on a wall, usually it's the first thing the eye goes to. At least it does for me. So it just makes me feel like this space is nice and neat and clean. So if that's something you agree with, please let me know and how often you like to do your baseboards, doors, and casings. So now comes my favorite part where I get to turn on my music, relax, and paint. So we end this spring cleaning week right where we began. I hope you've enjoyed this series. Next month, I'd love to focus on another masterclass. Would you help me decide? All things leading lady wardrobe, including dresses, nightwear, undergarments, activewear, and footwear, or organizing spaces from the bedroom, kitchen, bathroom, utility room, office, and so on. For more inspiration, I hope you will consider joining me over on Patreon. Your support means so much to me and inspires me to keep creating. And until next time, keep making the everyday beautiful. Mm -hmm.